Hello everybody, my name is Tabby. Welcome back to my channel, Keeping Tabs, where today I am unhauling a bunch of books. I have about 60 books to unhaul, and I feel so good. I don't know what's been going on, but I have not been interested in YA books at all. Not any genre, just no YA. And I just, I don't know, my reading this year has not been good, and I just, I've been in such a slump. I think I've only read 13 books this year so far, which is not bad, but like, that ain't good. I'm just not in the mood to read, and I'm not in the mood to own a bunch of books that I don't know if I ever will read. Um, and I've also decided that I want to go digital, so I did buy myself a tablet that I will be reading ebooks from, uh, mostly from the library. I'm not even buying ebooks, I'm just borrowing them from the library from my overdrive app and my hoopla app and yeah that's just gonna be my method now if i want to buy a book i have to read it first from the library before buying it to make sure that it's something that i want to own for sure and the criteria for that is something that i think will be readable for me or something that like i think about a lot so i'll borrow it from the library read it sit on it for a few weeks and if it's still something that lingers with me and if it's st something that I think I want to reread then I will purchase it so yeah I slowly want my bookshelves to be books that I have read not books that I haven't read yet so making my way there are still some books on my shelves that I feel like I'm probably going to unhaul once I read them I still want to give them a chance but I probably will unhaul them once I read them but anyways, let's just get into the 60 books because there are a lot. I'm going to talk about the books I have already managed to sell because I am trying to sell these on Facebook Marketplace and I've already sold 12 of them. I sold The Unhoneymooners by um, Christina Lauren. Uh, I read this and it was really fun, but I'm learning that I've already, I always knew, actually, I always knew that this kind of genre, this romance, new adult, fun time kind of book is not really my genre. I like reading them, but I don't think they're re-readable. Got Rid of Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard, which is book two in her Red Rising... Oh, so sorry. Her... What is it even called? Uh, what is it called? I have the first book here. Red Queen. Red Queen series or trilogy or whatever the heck it is. I do have Red Queen here, but the buyer only wanted the second book, so I got rid of that. I Unhauled The Martian by Andy Weir. I got rid of The Murder on the Orient Express by Chris, no, Agatha Christie. I don't know why I ever bought it in the first place. Like, I know myself. I don't know why I buy books. Like, sometimes, like, I think about the books that I buy and I'm like, why did I even buy that? Like, that is not me. Why did I buy that? I don't know. Next, I got rid of Switch, Torn, and Ascend by, oh my gosh, Amanda Hawking. I'm trying to remember the author's names, but I've already unhauled them. Amanda Hawking, this is a really good YA trilogy that I read like in 2013 and I actually really really liked it and I liked the love interest, the Loki guy. Um, her name was Wendy and his name was Loki and he was like, it was a fun time. I really enjoyed that series but I'm not going to reread it so it can go. The next book that I unhauled was The Witch of Willow Hall and I do not remember who this author was but I have the image on the screen. This was an arc that I got December 2019. Never read it. I don't even know why I asked for it. Was never interested in it. So now it's gone. I got rid of The Night Film. Night Film or The Night Film? I never know. By Marisha Pestel. I also got rid of like, a vintage copy of Alice in Wonderland that was pretty cool. It was pretty beat up. But yeah, I've tried reading Alice in Wonderland once and I fell asleep and I haven't tried to read it again since. And the last book that I have already sold is Life As We Knew It by Susan Beth Pfeffer. And this was a really good book. I read it a long time ago, like in 2012. I loved it so much. But I have not continued on with the series and I don't think I will ever reread it. It is just something that I do think about a lot and I have appreciated my time with it. But now it's time to let it go. Okay, now we're getting on to the books that I still have that are waiting to be sold. Um, this one is probably not going to be sold, but I'm getting rid of it anyways, and it is my Korean copy of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, but it's part two because they have split the first book into two parts, and this is only part two, and I don't have part one, I don't want to get part one, I don't even know why I have part two, I cannot read Korean, and yeah, it's just not going to happen. I am getting rid of book one, two, three, four, and five 
of, oh, this was not how I should have held this. Great. Of the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan. I got these because I was very excited to start this series and I'm still looking forward to starting it. I have put a hold on my library's copy because these are pretty thick books and there's like 14 of them in the series. I don't know if I'll ever finish that series and so and on top of that I don't know if I'll ever have time to reread them again because there are still a lot of high fantasy series that I own that I actually am keeping and that I'm interested in finishing so these are going there's five of them and yeah I have um Anne of Green Gables and Anne of Avon Lee by L.M. Montgomery um how do you say Avon do you say Avon Ava Avonlea Avonlea I say Avon Lee. I don't know Avonlea Avonlea Avon Lee. I don't know anyways I'm getting rid of these I have this really cool edition of the murder of the Callius coach murder in the Callius coach which is the original British title for murder on the Orient Orient Express and it looks like this and this was actually published in my hometown in Canada Ontario which is crazy because I don't think there's like a publishing company here anymore it's a small like it's really small town so I don't know how this was published here but it was so I'm thinking of maybe not getting rid of it just because of that fact but also like that's a stupid reason to keep it like who cares <laughs> next I'm getting rid of volume one and two of Saga by Brian K Vaughn and Fiona Staples I have read up to volume six or seven I think or five no I think maybe six and this is a pretty great series but I don't really see myself rereading it and I my library has all of them so I'm gonna finish the series out through the library so I'm getting rid of these. I have Cinder, Cress, and Winter by Marissa Meyer. Loved this series. Loved it so much. But again, it's not something I'm going to reread. And also my favorite book in this series, which is Scarlet, is one that I still don't own. So if I still had Scarlet, I'd probably keep that one book. But not these ones. Getting out of Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie. Never read anything by her before. I read, I won this on Goodreads when like giveaways on Goodreads was like easy to win. I won that through that. <laughs> Wake of Vultures by Lila or Leela, Lila, Lila Bowen. I've seen um, Lauren from the novel Lush talk about this and I was really interested but I have sense to pick it up and it's been years now and I don't know when I'm gonna pick it up and I have never heard anybody else talk about it so it's going. The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. I bought this one because of Leanna's library. She really likes this book and I really like her videos and I like a lot of the books that she likes but for some reason I have never really been interested in picking this up so I don't even know why I bought it. The Power of Booktube. I have An Arc of Cursed by Frank Miller and Thomas Wheeler and this is going to be a Netflix series or a show or a movie I don't know but I've heard Amanda from wait is that was it Amanda? I think it was Amanda from the Naughty Librarian. She read this and didn't like it as much so not interested. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. I loved the movie might read the book one day but I don't want to own it anymore. Nicholas Sparks The Best of Me. Love this movie. Not interested in the book. Here's Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I've heard that there's so many cliches in this but I still might read it from the library. I don't know. The House of Sand and Fog. This looks really interesting but yeah. How to Hack a Heartbreak by Kristen Rockaway and the Husband Material by Emily Belden. Uh, these are two romance arcs, and like I said, romance is not really my thing. I'm not really down for owning them, but I will read them. Oh my gosh, this is one of my more embarrassing covers, which is Melting the Ice by Jackie Burton. Why? Why do they have to put that on the cover? Why? The Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams. This was an arc, and I loved it so much. It was super fun, but again, it's a romance, and I'm not going to ever reread it, so there's no point of it collecting dust on my shelf. I'll pass it along to the next person. Oh, here's that second one. Gross. Straddling the Line by Jackie Burton. Is that necessary? Is it? I don't think it is, but that's just my opinion. The Flying Troutmans by Marion Taves. I really like this book. I read it in high school. I thought it was really, really well done, but I'll never read it again. Tess of the Row by Rachel Hartman, another arc that I've never read. Feel bad for doing this, but Dark Shores by Danielle L. Jensen. I read like almost halfway through this book and couldn't finish it. I stopped for like, I just, it was kind of boring and I feel bad because I won it on Instagram and it's signed and personalized and kind of sucks, but oh well, what can you do? 
I gave it a shot and it didn't work. Next is Gone and Hunger by Michael Grant and this series means so much to me. I love it so much and it is one of the first books I read as like a newfound reader and I just love these books but the first time I ever read them was from the library so I didn't even read these physical copies yet and I can always just take it out from the library again so there you go. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I actually really enjoyed this book. It took forever for me to get into it though like 150 pages were so boring in the beginning but I loved the rest of it and the movie the movie yikes but I actually still kind of like it <laughs> um I don't think I'll ever reread this honestly I like I'll probably watch the movie instead because although it was kind of bad it was also kind of good four a divergent collection I don't know anybody who has read these has anybody read have you read these like I've never read them Oh, this is Light. This is the last book in the Gone series. I haven't even read this. I've only read the first six, the first five, and this is the last one that I have to read. Still haven't read it. I'll probably just read it on my ebook, e-reader, whatever. I feel bad for getting rid of this one as well. It is J-Pod by Douglas Copeland, and my brother's friend gave it to me for my birthday, and I just not interested, and I feel really bad. Best Day Ever by Kara uh, Ruda. This is some kind of mystery thriller, whatever, not interested. The amount of money that I have wasted really makes me cry on the inside, but you know what? You live and you learn, you live and you learn, and you regret and you learn, and you live. I am getting rid of the Clockwork Angel, no, wait, what is this called? Oh, Infernal Devices. I'm getting rid of the Infernal Devices trilogy by Cassandra Clare because I, don't, I know it's like everybody's favorite Cassandra Clare books, but it's my least favorite. I'm not a historical fiction kind of person, I just don't like it and Will is just like Jace and I like Jace more and I know that's not the popular opinion but that's just the facts for me Will is Jace and I already have a Jace so why do I need a Will but I still love Will don't get me wrong I know they are different but like Jace I love Jace <laughs> and also I have no idea I can't remember a single thing that happened in the second book at all I have no idea getting rid of the last name Zara bye Kristen Cicerelli and this is signed so that's cool getting rid of the sun by Joe Nesbo did I already say this book I don't know but I'm getting rid of dead until dark which is the true blood book by Charlene Harris I'm getting rid of my huge brick of a book that is a dance with dragons by George R. R. Martin because I have the mass market paperback edition and I don't need this edition because it's too heavy and it's too big and it's just a workout to even hold it in my hands I have this non-fiction book called lucid dreaming gateway to the inner self by Robert Wagner and this is all about as you can guess lucid dreaming which is something that I do all the time I also have a dreamers dictionary and it's just a dictionary of dream symbols and what they can mean but I never refer to it I always in google it or something I have this graphic novel blankets by Craig Thomas which I read I don't remember when but I did read it this year and I did like it but it's not something that I'm going to reread and it's pretty thick and chunky to be taking up space on my shelf this is so stupid I don't know why I bought this I'm just so dumb but I bought the Twilight Saga official illustrated guide and I only opened this once and that was to take Instagram pictures and uh, never opened it again. It's so heavy because all of the pages are that thick glossy type. Pointless. Pointless to have this. I have Journey of Souls, Case Studies of Life Between Lives and I found this at a um, library, hall, library sale and it is by Michael Newton, PhD. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to say, just I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> Generation One by Pitticus Laura, the author of my favorite series of all time, which is the Lorian Legacy series. This is the first book of the spin-off trilogy, I think. Not interested. I love my first series. I love those characters. And also because I'm not into YA anymore, I'm not interested in starting another YA series. I have The Bane Chronicles and Shadowhunters Academy by Cassandra Clare and friends. Um, I've heard that The Bane Chronicles is pretty boring, but I thought I had to have it for my collection, but I really don't. I have also read up to this sticky note, so not much, just this much of the book for the, from this book I've read, and it's alright. It's kind of boring. I don't know. It's just, I think it's the writing style. I'm already not... Okay, that's a lie. 
I have had some issues with Cassandra Clare's writing style, but she has gotten so much better. But this is like a hodgepodge of all of these characters, all of these um, authors' writing styles, and I'm just not down for it. It's not doing it for me. I can't get through the stories in a timely fashion, and they are short. So I'm getting rid of this. They are all on my ebook um, overdrive app. So if I'm ever really curious, I'll just borrow it from there. And the last three books that I have to unhaul are books one, two, and three of a series. And that is, if I can organize it, there we go. The Expanse series by James S.A. Corey. So the have, wow, these are thick. Okay. Leviathan Wakes, Caliban's War, and Abaddon's Gate. And I just read this very recently. I really, really enjoy this series. My favorite of the three is definitely the first book. And this is the TV cover edition. And I've always wanted to buy the original cover, which is this. It looks, can you see that? It looks like that. It's really cute. I just love the colors. So um, out of all of these books, this is the one I can see myself rereading. But if I do ever want to reread it, I would buy the actual cover. And so I'll just get rid of this. Um, Abaddon's Gate was also really good, less action-packed but more emotional, and this is when I started- so I read all of this physically. I read half of this physically and I listened to the other half on audiobook, and then when it came to Caliban's War, I listened to all of it on audiobook, didn't even read a single page physically. So I think it's safe to say that I will be continuing the series either ebook style or audiobook. So I'm getting rid of these and I definitely recommend them to any sci-fi um, space opera lovers. Uh, they are really good. They're very intricate. The characters are a lot of fun um, and the audiobooks are great. It's really sad because I love these covers but I don't think I'm gonna reread. Definitely not these two. Whew. Anyways, I think those are all of the books that I am unhauling. It feels so good. I have two completely empty like shelves on one of my bookcases. Um, and I'm just so excited because of the potential. And I don't, I don't plan on filling them with more books. Because like I said, I want to potentially unhaul more books. And I want to read books through my um, library, either the app or going to the library, before I actually buy them. And yeah, that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you have read any of these and I will see you guys in another one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!